Back on our show this Friday, great to have State Treasurer John Kennedy with this morning. He has got a busy day lined up. We're going to touch on the budget, uh, the South Louisiana flooding, yeah. a number of uh, topics. And John, welcome. Thanks Thank for coming you. back. Thanks for having me. Wish we were here under better circumstances. Exactly. Right. Talking about yeah. flooding, the flooding we just had in South Louisiana was devastating. But you know, we had flooding back in back March in, the, yeah, in spring, North Louisiana. North that Louisiana. Was just as it hit here. actually in in March. It hit more parishes. Mm -hmm. I think this a right. bit, this this bit of flooding hit more people. But we still had people who aren't back in their homes from the flooding in North Haven't Louisiana recovered. in March. Haven't no. recovered. No. Um, it's going to really impact it, the state budget. Well, it is. Um, but you know what, I'm not particularly worried about the state budget. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm worried about it. That's my job. I'm more worried about people's budgets. Mm -hmm. But here's what I think is going to happen in the state budget. Yeah, short term, state revenues are going to go down for mm -hmm. obvious reasons. Uh, but then I think our state revenues are going to go up dramatically mm -hmm. because first the legislature raised the, the uh, sales tax. Right. We now have a five cent state sales tax, highest in the country. People are going to have to buy new cars, new washers, new dryers, new clothes, new furniture. Start over mm -hmm. again. That's right. Yeah. And we're going to have a spike. And then after folks buy what they need to buy, the state revenues will come back to normal. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to see the legislature and the governor do, and the governor's thinking about it, yeah. is at a minimum suspend the extra one cent sales tax that they passed last spring. Mm -hmm. Right. I just don't, this is going to result, it's unintended, but it's going to result in this huge windfall for the state government. Mm -hmm. and, and I just don't think state government ought, ought to benefit off, off the backs of folks uh, who went through this tragedy. And I would like to see um, the governor suspend that sales tax, both for folks in the, in, in the recent flooding in South Louisiana mm -hmm. and the flooding in March. Right. Now, they'd have to have a legislative session to do it, or they could pass a bill next spring to do retroactive refunds, mm -hmm. which is more likely. Uh, but I, I, it wasn't, nobody intended at the legislature for this to happen, but yeah. it's just a fact when you got thousands of cars that flooded, tens of yeah. thousands of cars, an extra one cent sales tax uh, on a $40,000 automobile, you're talking 400 it's a huge bucks. Mm -hmm. in addition. Yeah, that's 400 extra dollars people have to buy. They could buy a washer with that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping the governor hadn't said he hadn't said yes yet to it, but he hadn't said no. So he is thinking about it. And he's you, thinking about it. You feel a, a special session? I'd to? like him to do a special session. We could do it real fast, so yeah. people wouldn't have to pay the money up front. But if he doesn't want to do that, I'd like to see a bill next spring that says, "Okay, you paid it. Mm -hmm. Fill out a short form, and we will get you your money back," because. Uh, we anticipated, the legislature anticipated from the new one cent sales tax it would bring in about $1.2 billion a year. I think it's going to bring in a whole lot more than that. Mm -hmm. And it's not baked into our budget. It's a windfall. Yeah. Now, if it were up to me, I'd suspend all five cents mm -hmm. of, the, of the sales tax, but I just don't think the legislature will go along with that. that. Yeah. And you brought up an interesting point right before we uh, came on air, LSU's first home game. Uh, all those hotel rooms. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be interesting trying to accommodate all the Every hotel in Baton the, Rouge the is booked. Beds. I mean, you think about it. Livingston Parish, which is right next door, mm -hmm. was almost completely flooded. A big part of Ascension Parish was flooded. A big part of North uh, East Baton Rouge Parish was flooded in Central. Yeah. And many of those FEMA people have come in to help us with the damages. And many of those folks are in the hotel rooms. So. I'm sure it's a little too early to, to know the dollar devastation yet. I mean, we're counting. Mm -hmm. We've got to come up with an accurate figure for, right. for Congress and FEMA. But I think I can safely say at this point, it's going to be between 100 and 200,000 homes. Yeah. We're talking tens of billions of dollars. I think it's going to be at least 20,000 businesses. We don't know on the cars yet. And on that, you've got to add the, the, the roads that washed out, the bridges that washed it out. It goes on and on. The people who lost their jobs. It's mm -hmm. just... It's been devastating to um, our staff. If I make it to heaven, first question I'm going to ask God is, why do bad things happen to good people? Because <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, and it's, but been I, a, it's been a record. I know this. I knew this before the storms, but, but, but my belief in this has been reaffirmed. Our people are tough mm -hmm. and they're compassionate. We come had, together. We've had oh. people from all yeah. over the state. That was the beauty of it. Come in to help. And they're, yeah. they, they come in every weekend and they've got homes. And they're still coming in. And they're still coming in. Right. The churches have been great. Right. Um, it, it renewed my faith in 
human And life. that's really right. been a huge help. Too. Oh, look, m most of many of the elderly, for example, they, they don't know how to gut a house. Mm -hmm. They can't afford to hire a contractor. Right. Folks have been coming in and volunteering and I'm not just bringing in somebody some water, getting in there and tearing out sheet rock and pulling up carpet. And yeah. it's hot and it's messy, yeah. but that's, you know, we're helping our neighbors. You Thank go. you so much for Thanks joining for us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thank Where are you, you going? You're going up to Grand I'm Parish? I'm going to Grand Parish, and then I'm headed to Monroe, mm -hmm. and then at some point tonight I'm going to be back home, and oh, <laughs> Becky didn't change the locks. On <laughs> there you go. She Safe do travels. That. Thank you. Thank you. More to come. Scott Mora joins us in just a second.